done with enzyme kinetics much before, but we have not discussed any questions related to it. So, every time when you study, I make sure that you are able to solve a few questions by ending my lectures to some MCQs, correct? But since enzyme kinetics um, is not that much easy and dealing with these questions are not less time taking, so I have made a separate video on this. So, in this video, we will discuss about a few questions related to line waiver work plot, correct? So, <laughs> the question is from this line waiver work graph. Find Vmax, Km and Kcat if total enzyme concentration is 2 micromolars for the purple line. So, focus on this graph first. There are 3 lines, uh, red, purple and uh, of course green. And since the values are have been asked for purple line, uh, you might get an idea that Yes, this is the graph of any enzymatic inhibition, correct? So, focusing on the purple line. So, if nothing is given in values in the questions, only graph is given. So, what will you first do? You will first do to think about the y-intercept which is equal to 1 upon v max we have studied it okay so or we can say that v max is equal 1 upon y intercept intercept means the dots where the slanting line joins or touches the straight line got it so we need to find the v max uh, from this graph which is equal to 1 upon y intercept so, for purple line, the value of y intercept is 500, it is clear. So, the value of v max is equal to 1 upon 500, that is equal to 0 0.002. Simple, it is a simple graph based question and by just knowing that what is the y intercept, you will calculate the v max, correct? Second, you need to calculate the km as a second value okay so what will you do you know that km is 1 upon x intercept this point where the slanting line touches the x axis okay or km is equal 1 upon 0 0.03 because the purple line touches to this value on the x line so the km value would be 33.3 it is it is very simple calculation correct now coming for k cat and if you know the formula k cat is equal v max divided by total enzyme concentration we know that we have studied that v max is equal k cat into et so from that you can derive the k cat equation that is k cat is equal v max upon et and we have calculated v max which is 0 0.002 and total enzyme concentration is given as 2 micromolars so, the value of kcat is 0 0.001, correct? Other thing, if in any question units are not given, so you are not supposed to give units in the answer, correct? Now, let us move towards the second question of Michaelis Menten kinetics in which you need to find out the value of Vmax if V0 is equal to 1 micromolar per minute at 1 10th km got it so see in enzyme kinetics you will always encounter with a new question and it would be difficult for you to find out that which values are actually given and which we have to find out correct suppose like in this question it is very clear that you have given the value of V0 or initial velocity which is equal to 1. We are ignoring units here. We will write in the answers. Okay. In the units we will write in the answers. So, V0 is given as 1 micromolar. Okay. 
what is the second thing given to you the one tenth km is it the km no it is not the km km means km if it is one tenth or if it is any values are given it means that it is the substrate concentration given got it so if you are clear with what is given in the question it is very easy to calculate the rest of the things because you know that v not is equal v max into s divided by km plus s but putting which values in the formula is important and for that you need to know that which values are actually given in the question okay the question is not saying that substrate con concentration is 1 10th km it is you and your brain who needs to think that what is given okay now putting these value in the v max or, or in this equation here v not is equal 1 v max you need to find out substrate concentration is 1 upon 1 tenth km okay divided by km you you can place km in the place of km because it is not given plus 1 tenth km the substrate concentration is again 1 tenth km and when you solve for this you will get that keeping the above value or uh, numerator as it is solve for denominator and you will get that km plus 1 upon 10 km is equal to 11 km upon 10 got it and when you solve for this you will find that it would be equal to 11 km upon 10 divided by 1 upon 10 km which is equal to 11 micromoles per minute because 10 is in the denominator it will go downwards got it so your v max would be yes yes ha ah, yes this v max you need to find out and there is one so what i did i did i have sent the lower value of denominator to the left side of, of the equation so 11 km by 10 is equal to v max into 1 upon 10 km divided by 1 upon 10 km you can solve it on your own because i think i have skipped one step okay but the value which you will find out it would be equal to 11 micromoles per minute since the units are given i have written the answer with units got it it was a simple calculation now coming to the third question which is quite different from the previous two questions because in this question a uh, chart is given uh, showing that one you are you are doing uh, with enzyme kinetics and you have changed the concentration of substrate in your vial and you observe the initial velocity uh, this 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 for this substrate con concentration you observe the initial velocity of this for this substrate concentration you observe the velocity of this so you are basically doing an enzymatic kin enzyme kinetic reaction in a vial and what data you obtained you have tabulated in the form of the chart got it now from this you need to calculate the v max and km because the initial velocity you have recorded and the concentration of substrate you know because you have added okay so v max and km and nothing else is given and we know the formula v not is equal v max into s upon km plus s if in a formula two values are missing you cannot calculate uh, both the values by taking a single formula a single time got it what i want to explain is that if you just forget about those thing just focus on the initial velocities with respect to the substrate concentration what do you understand by the v max v max is the velocity of the reaction in which in which little change or by increasing the concentration of substrate the velocity cannot change rapidly or there is very minute change in the velocity got it so 
by focusing on this substrate concentration table you will find out that you are gradually increasing the substrate concentration in your vial from 10 to the power minus 6 to 10 to the power minus 2 so what you do in the first two values it was 2.5 raised to the power 6 it was 4 raised to the power 6 so by increasing a little con concentration because this value is same from 2.5 to 4 what is the increment only 1.5 you are you have increased the substrate value by increasing the substrate concentration or by um, with the digits 1.5 only and you have seen there is a tremendous change in the initial velocity it changed from 28 to 40 next when you increase the initial velocity almost 100 times it is minus 6 it is minus 5 so you increase the substrate concentration 100 times and you find that yes the velocity also increases rapidly from 40 to 70 it, it's a big increase and from this you will find out that 70 to 95 it's a big gap 95 to 102 is a big gap again 102 128 is a big gap and this is also a big gap but the last value where you increase the, sub, um, the concentration of substrate by 100 times or 10 times you say yes 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power minus 2 so uh, you will find that it is only a one digit increment in the initial velocity so what you can think about it is that at this position the enzyme is going enzyme is supposed to saturate at this substrate concentration because there is no much change in the initial velocity as per the change in the substrate concentration so as per this graph you can assume that the 140 value is can be the v max of this equation so uh, we will solve this question uh, by two methods in the first method we have assumed that the initial the maximum velocity of the given uh, table is 140 and by knowing the initial velocity we will calculate the km by using the same formula and uh, suppose uh, we have taken any you can take any value from this graph uh, i have chosen the 40 v naught corresponding to the uh, this value of substrate concentration so by putting um, 40 in the place of v naught and 140 in the place of v max substrate concentration we have taken uh, 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 which is corresponding to the v naught of the 40 and solve it for uh, km then you will get yes this km plus 4 rate multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 or denominator will go to the left side of the equation numerator will remain the same and here the value of 40 will come down into the leg of the equation which is the uh, value of 40 and by solving this you will get to know that km will now be equal to because 4 is cut by 40 the 4 is divided by 40 and uh, you will get that yes it would be equal to 14 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 and this value then comes to the um, right side of the equation and from this the value of km you get is 10 to the power minus 5 molars correct clear okay this is the first method which we have discussed now coming to the second method in this you are not sure that uh, you can take the value of 140 as a maximum value and i want to make it clear all of you that not in every enzymatic uh, catalyzing reaction uh, you cannot take every maximum value of the v naught as a v max got it so we have chosen this value for the first method we have we are we will choose this value also for the second method okay what we are going to do is we are going to use the michaelis menten equation twice for this method one for the calculation of vmax and the other for the calculation of km correct 
So, the putting by putting the value of 40 and its corresponding substrate concentration, you will get this value. Now, calculate, uh, solve this equation for V max and you will get that V max is equal to 40 multiplied by Km plus 40 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 160 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 4 into 10 to the power minus 6. Got it? Label it as equation A and leave it here. Now, solve the, apply this formula second time for the second value of the graph which is 70 and its corresponding substrate concentration. Got it? So, what will you get? You will get 70 plus 70 km plus 70 into 10 to the power minus 5 is equal V max into 10 to the power minus 5 and which is equal to again solve this for V max and which is equal to V max is equal the whole value divided by 10 to, 10 to the power minus 5. Now what we are going to do next? We will put the value of this V max in equation A and from this you can solve for the Km value. So LHS is equal to RSS, uh, so RHS left hand side is equal to right hand side and this value is equal to this value because both are the value of Vmax and by solving this you will get a Km of 10 to the power minus 5. Got it? So this is the same value which we obtained with the first method. Correct? Now again calculate for V max and let's see that whether our first method was correct or not. So when you put this value of Km in this equation or in this equation, you will find that V max is equal to 70 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 5 because value of Km is this plus this value divided by 10 to the power minus 5 and by solving this you will get that because uh, the powers value are, are same you can add on these values it would be equal to this and the value of V max which comes out through the second method is 140 which is equally uh, related or equal to the first method correct. The question in your mind is that when the value of V max is 140 why I have chosen this method. So the answer lies um, of this question is not the every maximum value of V V naught can be taken as a V max and why I am saying this we will discover uh, more details of this line in the second video of enzyme kinetics problems where we will solve another question taking the tables where we cannot take the value maximum value of V naught as a V max. So I hope this video is very helpful to you. Keep revising and uh, keep practicing because enzyme kinetics is the topic which needs regular practice. Okay, happy learning. Mm -hmm.